so... Man, I can't see shit. Why is this so dark? I feel like this is darker than it was before. Settings. Brightness. Oh, I can't even see that logo. Like... Wow, the difference between here and here is, is asinine. Alright, let's go there. Nope, nope, not back to settings. I actually had originally turned on um, the universal... Uh, dis like the... the the, uh, what are they called? The percentages on the choices people made. And I thought that was pretty interesting. But what happened is, is it shows you before you pick. I thought when you picked, it would show you at that point. And I was like, I don't want to know what people picked before I pick it. That's stupid. You notice how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together? Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. Ooh. Uh, let's see. They are sweet together. That's what I said last time, I'm pretty sure. Very sweet together. I wish they just freaking that alien jump already. scare was great. I swear they just need like something to bond over, you know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before right, Chris makes a move. <laughs> Boo! All right, so what are we doing? Is there anything to like? Should I be looking around here some more? I feel like I should be. A, <gasps> what was that? What? What? What do we got? It's a picture. Shut up, Deej. Yeah. Oh, it's so much worse with these headphones on. Huh. It's a ghost! I don't think that's a ghost. It could be a ghost. Josh is weird. Yo, Josh is mega weird. But, I mean, at the same time, you gotta cut him some slack because both of his sisters died here a year ago. So maybe he's weird because it's just weird. The whole thing is weird. I can't believe... That anyone actually agreed to this. I'm being totally honest. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have gone back. Hello. It's me. You know, Sam. Yes, Josh. I just Welcome, Skylander. Say, what? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and you know. I agree, Thomas, by the way. I, you came. Choice-based games don't kill me. But uh, this one is... I, I, I watched the first two hours of it one day and was like yup uh it's it's um we're here for you that's what we're doing we're trying to be Gosh, supportive we're here for you really whatever you need <laughs> you prefer whenever, cat face shut up that's on sundays we're all gonna make it through this together um I want like to fake an emergency time, call you know? we're um hey, what step I think I can handle a little. Eh, I gotta keep my mouth shut about this this time. I had I basically knew something was up right here at this point in the game, but uh, it was all right. It went it went swell. It went swell. No, Scott Lander, cut it out. So I want to apologize for the Transformer Blue at the end. Oh my gosh, Death Pony never apologize for not being here or anything. Sorry That's just silly. I'm glad oh, that you're here now, and I'm glad you were here then. Never apologize for when you're I not mean, here. It's fine. I wouldn't want you coming <laughs> down here on your own. Get in that oh. bone zone. Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. yep. It's a basement. Not a place to be on your own. Nope. All right, let's see. Oh, it's a baseball bat. Um... Make a joke. Be pretty rough playing baseball out in all that snow. No, I did not find this last in time. The winter, silly. I mean, we'd come up in the summer and we would have the best time. The whole family was there. Mom, Dad, my sisters. It was some serious competition out there on the big lawn. I don't know. Can't go back. New reality. Right, Sam. I have a weird feeling anyway, I'm supposed that it's a good thing that I know there's a baseball right. bat there. I have a weird feeling that that's important. Hey, Practic Order, thanks so much for that host, dude. I appreciate it. How you doing, man? Welcome. Here, can you, can you hold this? Can you hold this? What was that? This game is OP? Yeah, I love this game. Yo, what the hell? Why am I not following you? Why have I... I just realized I've... Ugh. 
Whatever. What's going on? Practic Oh! Hey, can you just keep the light? Shit! So I, I didn't realize I was supposed to okay. stay still. How you doing, Delga Delgado? The Delgado. Welcome. Rex a great hope. What's going on, gang? Don't move. I'm not moving. I can't even. Nice one. I did it. He thanked me or complimented me on my okay, ability to not first. move. We gotta increase the water pressure. So there's that. Get the boiler fired up. Mm, sounds kind of complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. Okay, so I grab this and I turn it. Come on. Why are you not going? I'm doing this. There you go. Oh. I did it. More like it. I did the thing, guys. Right. Bye, girl. Oh, I. Shit, I missed. I missed that last week as Blue, well. You're my boy! Uh, Delgado26, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to Blue's Crew. How long are you gonna be up tonight? Practice order. I'm gonna be on for a while, a couple hours. Um, I I read. I missed it again. I missed it again. This is the same game as last week. Yes, Death Pony. It's the same game as last week. Um, we're just picking uh, right before the green or the green. Right before the 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 stream crashed was like this area, and I just wanted to replay it. I missed the high five again because I'm a dumbass. Um, I just wanted to get caught up. I wanted everybody to know the story. Creeper! Just joshing you. <laughs> oh, that's right. Now we get to scare him. Really freaked out. Hey, question, what's going on? Oh my god. Don't move. What? Nothing behind you. What would not moving do? Yeah, right. You got a practice order. No problem, man. Uh, no, seriously, insist. Josh. Seriously. You got it, George, no problem. It'll be on YouTube. There's something back there. Yeah, the... <laughs> no, the high five. All right, all right, your point. 30 love. 30 love. No, <laughs> where'd you get the first point? Does it start at 30? No, 15. Oh. Well, more of a ping pong, yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. Josh. What? Like his face. There's something on his face that screams regular about it. Creepy ass human being. Um I don't want to be heroic because I didn't pick that last time. I picked concern last time. The only thing that's happened differently so far is I found that baseball bat, which I didn't know was there before. I don't know why I saw it this time and not last time. That's the only thing that's been different between these two playthroughs. If it were me. I wouldn't want this place to burn down on my watch. Yeah, right. Now this is where things got weird. See? This I pointed this out last time. He stopped walking to let me go ahead. Look at that face. Oh, stop looking at my ass, you jackhole. Ready? Sorry, guys. Ah! Oh, hey, that that's a, no! I I butchered that. Ah! I missed that quick time event, and it didn't even matter. It didn't even matter. Oh. So that was the one that we missed, and I knew it was coming, so it didn't get me. I'd let you burn down on my watch. Shut up, Aggie Breaky. Hey. Hey. What the hell? Boom. You just got mumped. He's on. What? Nice one. That was good. What? What? Why would you I mean, he kind of looks like that? Carson Daly. I There's see it, like a young Carson Daly. Movie crap down here. Was I can see it. Was I, I can see it. Supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? Are you? Are you serious? Were you in on this putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. <laughs> I'm ready to admit that you're. You just got monked. Can that be a thing? Yeah. What an asshole. I know. That's the. This is. I should point this out now. That's where I stopped it. Behind that door is where I stopped it last time. That was the end of what. This is all new. From here on out, I have not seen any of it. So this is all new from here. I just want to make that clear. Cut thing about jokes. I said your prank 
which was dumb. Holy crap, you were scared, admit it. I was not! I didn't think you turned the light off. I was gonna be like, you're gonna Josh. burn out the batteries, you dumbass! Push him down the stairs? No, it was a prank! What in God's name? Then again, the last there? prank they played killed two people, so. I found my true calling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please tell me you're gonna take a <laughs> vow of silence. <laughs> okay, okay, did you at least find the thingy? Oi, 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 oi. Here's our one way ticket to the spirit realm. Shut up, you did no, not get a Ouija you know board. No. I've just. <laughs> nice, Aki. I'm looking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath. <laughs> My crystal ball. Mm. All right, so have fun. You just got oh, monked. Watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Okay. Okay. All right, I put that in the stream title. You just got monked. Oh, it's this douche again, and there's gore on his. T Look at everything's falling apart. Something's going on here. This ain't fucking real. I would like to understand your feelings toward people who fear the dark. Do you share this fear? <laughs> um... Bonnie one one one. Thank you so much for that follow. You didn't follow last week? Oh, thank you so much for that. Welcome to Blues Crew. I. Uh, I don't know what he just asked me. What did he just ask me? Sympathy. I don't know what he asked me. I gotta focus on this guy. Sorry. I see. Well, Ashley has quite a fear of the dark. Do you feel bad for her? Um, why would I feel bad for someone's fear? I can't feel bad for someone who has a fear. Indeed. That is I don't apparent know. from the choices you made. Investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. Okay. What do you value? What do you respect in yourself and others? Which would you say was most important in a person? Loyalty or honesty? Oh. Oh. Wow. Uh, so Talexia, the reason there's the two things that there are, there's there's gore over here and the snake over there because those were the two things that I picked in the last part that I didn't like the most. And I don't actually dislike snakes, but the options were like a cockroach or a venomous cobra. So I picked the cobra. So they're putting the things that I like the least on the desk. They're trying to make me uncomfortable. But this is an interesting question. Loyalty or honesty? Um, because both are obviously very important qualities in people. When you're, when you're picking friends and keeping friends and, and choosing who to spend your time with, these two things are very important. Now, loyalty is one that I think is is very good, uh, but one of the things that I've said uh, many times, there's a, uh, what was it? Um, what, what's the line? What's the line? Okay, there's a line from a With the Punches song that says, if happiness is a moving target, my steady aim will be my honesty. I've always, I've always preached honesty. I've always thought, if you're honest with someone, how can't you be loyal to them? Even if you're being honest with them, even if you're telling them you smell like shit and your teeth are falling out and I don't like the people you spend your time with. Like you say all these terrible things, but the truth, at least you're being honest. You know what I mean? Like at least you're being honest with them. I'm gonna go with honesty because it's something I've very, I hold very true uh, to something. 
uh, they more or less would be honest as well. Being honest doesn't necessarily mean the same thing. Where, but I disagree, Aggie, as I just said. I think being honest with somebody shows a certain level of loyalty. But being loyal to somebody means you might be changing who you are as a person to be loyal. You might say, well, I don't agree with this person, but I'm going to go get in this bar fight because I'm loyal to them. Even if they got into the bar fight because they did something really misogynistic or something. I don't know. So, uh... I, I'm being honest. I fucking hate you, Blue. I'll be honest that I'm disloyal to you. <laughs> I'm gonna go with honesty because that's something I appreciate in my life so, the most. You would tell the truth, even if it resulted in an unpleasant outcome for a friend. And what about honesty then and charity? <laughs> um, I value honesty or charity. Um, charity is often, pity is often mistook as charity. Charity is great, but it also, a lot of people get fooled into charity, um, in order to, not fooled into charity, but they get forced into charity. They feel like it's an obligation, kind of like how in the United States, everybody tips because it feels an, like an obligation. Uh, I feel like a lot of people give to charity because they're guilted into it, whereas being honest with somebody is a decision that you make completely on your own. Uh, I mean, a lot of people are, are genuinely charitable people, but a lot of people give to charity because they feel bad. Honesty is not a quote, a, a trait that is based on feeling bad it's about i mean i, I guess it, it is to a degree you would feel bad for being dishonest so i i mean i'm gonna go with honesty on this one you agree with this one <laughs> charity is overrated i suppose better to be true to yourself than to help others in need eh? Huh? once again i'm afraid we're out of time we'll <laughs> blue's guess was a disloyal position <laughs> Blue is going way too deep with these. I just enjoy the thought. I mean, it, it spurs an interesting discussion to me. I mean, that's the kind of thing that I like to think about with these with these situations.